it's a beautiful morning to be out for a jog there are lots of people out uh, doing some exercise and pretty soon they are gonna become hungry and some of them while might be going to uh, you know coffee shops or eating establishments to eat there might be others who are going to go home and place orders for their breakfast so now on morning weekends right breakfast orders from fast food chains are extremely popular which means one thing hot drinks hot drinks are one of the more challenging items to deliver without spilling the chances of spilling is quite high especially for new riders who have to travel across uneven roads cross uh, unexpected uh, you know potholes climb up slopes and go over humps at uh, kapaksa the worst of these spills uh, tend to come from hot drinks and soup containers so today in the interest of food delivery partners island wide i will be putting five fast food joints cups to the test and see which one has the worst spill versus less spill and if any can reach the golden standard no spills at all hi morning are you guys open uh yeah i'm sorry can i just get one uh, hot coffee please take away yeah a black please take away okay thank you yeah have a good day Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. I have gotten all the five uh, different types of hot drinks over here. So KFC, uh, this is from uh, Long John Silver, McDonald's, uh, Subway and Burger King. Design of the lids, right? They are very similar to one another. So you have like the tab openings on all five and there is a little steam vent over here you know because you know hot air it rises up and it expands right so there is actually a little hole in all the various uh, lids in order to you know let the air come out actually basic design of the cups right they are actually all the same i've also secured all the lids down in so i will hang them into the hooks and uh, we will transport and see uh, how well it actually holds up against uh, spillage. This is how it actually looks like when they give it as, you know, wrapped in the plastic. Uh, however, you know, if you're actually buying multiple drinks, they do, like McDonald's, they do give like a tray uh, where you can put the drinks in, you know, and uh, you can actually transport it that way. Uh. But for the purpose of this video, right, uh, I, I mean, I can't afford to buy so many drinks. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a, a fun experiment with all the individual cups and the plastic bags it comes in so the issue that i have right is actually long john silver you see the long john silver <laughs> cup right it's wow the plastic bag is so big and you know sometimes right i have encountered situations when i pick up not hot drinks but cold drinks huh? they actually stack like you know you know you see this plastic bag here right they what they do is that they would actually kind of like stack one drink on top of the other which is really a bad design choice i mean think about it you are having a drink below and then there's another drink on top and what happens when you're actually riding the e-bike and as you're riding the you know the vibration on the road huh, this the the top cup right is just gonna like you know vibrate and you know if the lid is not secure or or something uh, is just gonna push the the bottom cup down i hope someone from long john silver is uh, looking at this video uh, uh, it's just a little bit of constructive feedback you guys might just want to reconsider giving this type of uh, you know double stack plastic bags for drinks okay sometimes right i find that the plastic bag might be a bit too long so when you when i place it right and then i hook it up it's, it's still gonna sit on the base of the bag so in this situation normally what i do is that i will do a knot at the top part you know to raise up the the hanging uh, up from the bag itself lah. so just put another knot into the handle of the plastic bag and then you know yeah oh, alamak it still goes so i need to oh, epic fail man <laughs> So I've done another smaller knot. Just make sure that it's secure. It doesn't like fall down or anything. 
then over here and okay mcdonald's okay my problem is the long john silver cup i can't even hang it man and i i, I usually i find that you know having style I, I don't use the styrofoam cup holders because i find that when i put hot drinks in the styrofoam cup holders it doesn't work for me uh cold drinks yes but not hot drinks uh. so uh, yeah how to transport this okay so what i did for the long john silver right i did the double knot thing again so that it's actually suspended up and uh it works kind of like you know for a single drink but if there are actually two stacks to it right i, I don't think it will actually work so this is how i've actually placed the drinks so next is go for a ride i will be going around a circuit around bukit panjang ring road because uh the this particular uh track right it has a perfect mixture of uh, uneven grounds uh, park connectors as well as uh, bumps you know uh, these kind of things so it would give a good representation of uh, how delivery riders uh, have to travel in order to deliver the drinks to you some of the worst cases of spillage actually occurs for hot drinks and soups uh, uh, so you know these are the kind of uh, of uh, orders right which food delivery riders actually dread you know because we are always like alama go over a pothole Aya, oh, i don't know whether the drink behind or the soup behind us survive the pothole or not i mean come on you know we it's not say that you know we purposely go and spill it right and consumers i also don't want to make the customer unhappy or angry uh, because you know i i go and give them like you know mixed up soup inside the <laughs> inside the plastic bag it doesn't it's just, it's, it's just something which frustrates everybody if you think about it uh consumer is not happy delivery partner is also not happy merchant also not happy because sometimes they they receive the feedback they might have to redo the order or something and then delivery platform also not happy because they have to compensate the the customer right Alamak. okay give me a minute huh? let me cross here first yeah so like what i was saying right nobody is happy in those kind of uh, situations uh. so maybe like you know someone who can solve this issue come up with like a like a seal proof with a tight seal or something uh, will i think they will make a lot of money uh, if supposing they can come up with this kind of something which addresses that uh, notion okay let's go here i also get spills uh, occasionally and there are certain i just went over a hump wow you see this is what i mean now i don't know whether the coffee uh, uh, survived uh. <sighs> i have a bad feeling if you are a food delivery rider you can leave a comment down below and uh, share your tips and techniques you can also point out where i'm going wrong because even after two years of delivery uh, i still haven't mastered the art of of delivering hot stuff without spilling man let's take a look at other riders have come up with
my name is Bernie from Bernie Studio. When it comes to hot drinks, please take note of these important points. Number one, check the items on your pick list and see if they're hot drinks. And if they are, mentally prepare yourself to see how to place them in your bag. Number two, make sure all the drinks are placed inside your bag and there's no wiggle room for them to move around. And always place your drinks separate from your food items. So in case there's a spill, your food will not be ruined. Number three, ride slower than you normally would. And number four, just pray. Please don't spill, please don't spill. Okay, let me show you some examples of how I do it. But I can tell you that there's no 100% guarantee. That's why we are talking about it because it's challenging. Okay, so if the drinks come in a plastic bag like this, you have to make sure that you tie it really tightly so that the lid doesn't fall off. See? See how I tie it? It's tight. And if you can try to make one more knot, that is good too. So you see it doesn't really fall out. Okay. And then you take the drink, put it in a cup holder of some sort, maybe the foam one, but I have one that I DIY. Put it inside so that you know even if it shakes, it just moves from side to side. It's little wiggle room. Then you use a strap or something just to make sure to secure it in place see so it, it doesn't move if it moves at least it gets limited by this strap okay then you put make sure that there's that it's nice and tight like that okay and in and to counter the vertical forces you have a corrugated board like that See if you can, you can try to put something on top to stop it from bouncing up and down. Okay, and then make sure you ride slower. So if the drinks come in a paper bag, for example, those from Starbucks and Chong Baru Bakery, they would have been nicely placed inside the paper bag already with their own uh, with their own cup holder so all you got to do is so what i'll do is i'll put this aside i'll drop the the paper bag inside okay and again make sure there's very little wiggle room okay and what i'll do is i'll fold the paper bag and still try to place something on top of it so with that, there won't be chance of toppling over while you're riding. So when you reach your destination, you open and then you just make sure you take it out slowly, check it and then you can give it to your customer. Hey, I'm currently doing a tour of Singapore, visiting one zone per week to do food delivery. Who knows, you might just catch me in your neighborhood. Check out my channel Bernie Studio to watch every shift and I even rate every zone I visit. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. So I have uh, reached my starting spot again and uh, it's the moment of truth. So let's see how well it everything fares. Okay, uh, Burger King, Mac. McDonald's oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, okay this one is is, is bad <laughs> okay uh, Costa this is from Subway right KFC and Long John Silver oh man this is bad this is really bad let's open them up okay let's take this out okay so not really that many spills on the burger king one there's some drips here however the lid is i think because of the hole here like you know the liquid actually came out let's take a look at the bag okay bag is i, I mean for me it's pretty okay this is the mcdonald's one okay mcd version is uh again this part here got spills but apart from that not really like got some stains here and then inside the plastic bag also got some like a little bit of seepage 
which I think is, is acceptable. Lah. This one is the Subway drink. Let's take a look. What the? Oh, okay. Okay, as far as I... This is very strange. So, as you can see, the lid is... It's all right. There's some seepage. But have a look at the... Oh, turn right. It has some sort of like paper texture to it. Uh, and it kind of like absorbed the spills, man. And it feels a bit yucky when I touch it. So... So, I think... Oh, there's no water. There's no coffee drip inside. Not really that much at all. So, I think all the coffee drip, right, got absorbed into the... You know, into this uh, design over here on the side of the cup. Okay, KFC has a fair bit of uh, spill from what I can see. Uh. So, on the top, it's... Oh, it's also the same as the Subway coffee cup. So, basically, this part here, right, this paper thingy it actually absorbed the spill whatsoever lah, you know and uh, this thing actually has the most spill so far lah, currently uh, until I go to the next one okay let's take a look at the final one uh, this is the worst one uh, long john silver really yeah uh, you can see like so many spills Oh, you can see that. Yeah, there's like a pond of coffee inside there. Yeah, this is really bad. This is, is it's, it's really bad. And, uh, okay, the cup itself, it's alright. It didn't absorb the coffee like the Subway and the KFC did. But, however, the spill is, is a lot, man. So, what is the difference? Why did the KFC and the long john and the long john silver cups right why did they is there like any difference oh okay uh, i mean i don't know i'm not a design specialist or anything but it seems to me like those with this type of reservoir over here right it seems to hold up fairly well but those without the reservoir but with just a little hole you know they seem to have more spills i mean i don't know it's just a it's just something which i observe so i don't know whether you know that design really has a has an uh, you know like like an issue with the spillage of of hot coffee or hot drinks or hot liquids while delivering which one is the worst well i'm sorry long john silver it would have to be you because you had the most spills and uh, I really hate your bag design, you know, the elongated bag design. It really sucks. So, that is... I give the Raspberry Award to Long John Silver. Uh? Next up, I guess would be... It's a close tie between uh, Subway and KFC. Yeah. But, however... Because I, I, I don't know how much of the coffee has been absorbed by the, by the cup, you know. Uh, so, but it does seem like a fair bit. Lah. So... The second worst cup, I guess, would be KFC. And uh, the third one, of course, would be Subway. And uh, for these two, they are not exactly spill-proof, but they do seem to be more sturdy when it comes to, like, transporting hot liquids. Huh? I would say that these two would be the better designs. As you can see, none of them passed the no spill proof test. All of them had some sort of spill, some sort of, you know, issue with it. Hopefully somebody, some private individual, maybe a, someone on Kickstarter can just come up with a way for delivery riders to transport hot liquids, soups without spills. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you would like me to try and transport other types of foods, or liquids do let me know and uh, i will see what i can do ride safe be safe i wish you all good earnings without spilling any drinks and uh, g-man signing off and uh, oh yeah do subscribe to the channel if you haven't